Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about what you should be doing every day on New World. I do want to say, guys, before we get started in today's video, I am partially back. We're going to see how long they keep me this time. I'm just excited about PvP arenas, and I know we're getting closer and closer to that. Three to four to five months out is my guess, and I want to get ready and geared up for that to come. So I'm excited for PvP, and because of that, these are the things I'm doing every day to stay up to date with New World and get all the best gear possible, as well as a ton of loot and gold every single day. So if you guys are interested, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on. Let's get started into today's video. Alright guys, so you can see here I'm by the Gypsum Kiln Tier 5. It's in every little level 60 plus zone. I think it's Reekwater, you know, uh, Eden Grove has one for sure, and a bunch of other zones. But I want to talk a little bit about what I do every single day. So, the first thing I do is Expeditions. This is a big thing. So, Expeditions every single day. Why is that important to do one or two per day? Well, the first thing you're going to get in bonus of an expedition is going to be a gypsum orb. Let me see if I can find the right one here, but it's going to be the sapphire gypsum. So you get one every time you kill a level 60 plus expedition boss. And this is a quick way to up your gear score. If you already have max gear score, well, it's a quick way to roll a piece of gear. And when you do that, by the way, you get to pick any of these casts, rapier cast, leg wear cast. You can do headgear, fire staff, footwear, whatever you want to do. The big thing is make sure to do an expedition every day because you are going to want that gypsum cast. But it, there's a lot more to it when it comes to expeditions. Why else are we doing expeditions daily? Well, there are, I believe, you get up to three juniper bags. And I'm learning a lot, guys, because I've been away for a couple of months, but I've been grinding this last couple of weeks, or really last week, and learning a lot about the new systems, a lot about you know, what I should be doing to advance myself. And I always want to be the most efficient possible. And so I want to give you guys that information or those tips. So like I said, juniper bags, you get three of them per day. Unfortunately, I don't have any bags to actually show you. Um, you know, juniper bags, you guys have probably gotten them before. By doing an expedition, you get those as drops. When you open a juniper bag, you get juniper berries, and then you get about 50 to 100 gold, typically. Uh, you can actually get above 100 gold, I believe. I'm not sure exactly what the range is. But typically, you'll get three bags in an expedition, your first expedition of the day, which is a basically a free 150 to 300 gold every single day you do an expedition. There's a lot more to that. And you guys probably know about faction missions by now, I would assume. But if you don't, well, this is one of the best things to do as well. Every five minutes, your missions will refresh. You can get up to three of the same missions, pretty much. Or when I say the same missions, you can't get the exact same. Like this one tells me to defeat every Lazarus Javelinier. Well, I can also get one that says, you know, defeat, uh, you know, a different enemy or do this in that dungeon. Basically, I want to get three Lazarus instrumentality missions per day. And then I want to use them during my daily bonus. So right here, you can see daily bonus is available, one of three. So I only have one left. So if I do a Lazarus raid right now, I get 10 times the bonus that you see here. So I'm going to get 270 coins. I'm going to get a ton of experience if I'm not level 60. Obviously, you're level 60 most likely. But, you know, you're going to get a lot of bonuses when it comes to doing these missions for the daily bonus. So make sure to continue to refresh these if you're in a town and you just walk by, just do a quick refresh. See if you can get lucky and get more of the raid type Lazarus instrumentality if you're in Reekwater or if you're in Eden Grove, it would be Garden of Genesis. I do want to say there's a lot of a lot of possibilities when it comes to that. And also, you know, with knowing De Dynasty Shipyard is going to have a mutated jung or mutated um, dungeon soon. We are going to also want to do that in Eden, or not Eden Grove, but every time you go over to Evanscale, Evanscale is going to have the same situation. You're going to want to get Dynasty Shipyard quests stacked up over there unless you do them a lot then you're going to want some space but i don't do faction missions too much besides you know typically three daily just to make sure i get my daily bonus on dungeons and then that's about it so this is another thing you're going to want to take advantage of it's going to give you a ton of faction tokens a ton of gold and you know obviously like i said if you need territory standing if you need experience that as well i want to jump though over to another reason so faction missions obviously juniper bags those are huge reasons to do expeditions daily What's another reason? Well, loot to sell. Obviously, you want to continue to get your gear score up if you're not 600 and everything, which, by the way, I took a break, right? So my 
current void gauntlet, I don't have a void gauntlet on me, but my current void gauntlet is not 600 yet. It's not even close just because of the fact that, and it doesn't even look like I have one to show you. I think it's at like 515 though. But you can see here, I'm 600 pretty much everything, but my jewelry's really suffering. So 548, 540, 542. Obviously doing these dungeons is one of the best ways to increase your gear score very, very quickly. They upped the, the loot quite a bit since I was last year. If you guys... You know, in the last three months, I was actually told I came back at a really good time because the loot has definitely increased. The chances of getting good gear uh, or just higher quality gear is very, very fast compared to what it was once, uh, you know, a while back. So I think this is definitely a good time to jump back in to get started on some of this looting before the PvP comes because I am so excited for PvP arenas. I just heard the devs talk a little bit more about it, and I've also been in, you know, kind of touch with a few of them myself. So I'm just, you know, physically and just utterly excited about PvP arenas. Uh, can't wait for it. So what else am I doing daily? Well, I've pretty much talked about the expeditions, the Juniper Bags, Loot to Sell, Faction Missions Daily, Gypsums, but there's more even than that. And the one thing I want to say, guys, if you're not doing the, if you don't have time for an expedition, basically, you shouldn't be just not crafting it every week. So this is more of a weekly thing, and I'm actually at the wrong spot. But I want to go over to stone cutting. I thought I was at stone cutting there for a second. But let's see if we can find the stone cutting uh, spot real quick just so I can show you what I was thinking there. Um, but basically, you're able to craft a certain amount of, of keys per... I'm not even sure if I'm finding it right now. It's been that long, guys. I'm telling you. When, I, when I'm looking for stuff, it actually takes me a second to actually find the table. But there it is, the stone cutting table. I should know. I'm 200 stone cutting since quite a while ago, but uh, you can see that there's a lot of things you can do here in the stone cutting table, but the biggest thing is because you can now buy corrupted lodestone, you can now buy all of the components basically to make Lazarus Genesis and mutated expedition tuning orbs. You should specifically be making a mutated expedition orb every week, and then you'll have this cooldown, but you also, if you can, if you have time or if you have the gold, you want to buy Lazarus and Genesis as well. There's people daily, see you can see here, Lazarus tuning orb, need tank, 1k slot, so that's something a lot of people have been doing and it's a 1k per slot So this guy's making 4k gold on posting his Lazarus tuning orb and by the way He actually gets to run the you know the orb as well So he's benefiting in multitude of ways there and that's another reason why you're definitely going to want to make sure to take advantage of the cooldowns and always craft your Genesis Lazarus and mutated expedition tuning orb every chance you get and that kind of brings me to this guy as well So the faction rep if you guys have been taking a break I know a lot of you guys are taking a break So some of you guys probably have known this if you've been playing the last three five months But if you haven't you also have timers on your Tuning orbs in the shop so you want to buy those as soon as possible to get that timer kind of re-going yet again These are only 425 gold and like I said you make about 4k gold from allowing people to jump into your into your dungeon So it's just a great way to make quick gold mutated expedition orbs Obviously are the most important always prioritize those because that's how you get your gear from 600 to 625 I do say uh, or do want to say though that you know all of these systems are great to really do daily because you make a lot of gold you get a lot accomplished, and then everything after that is just you're free to do whatever you want. Obviously, you're free either way, but you know it just it's a good feeling of you got a lot accomplished that day. You got things uh, kind of just taken care of, and that's exactly why. Like I said, I do an expedition every day. That's my big gear grind, and if you do that daily, I'll be ready for PvP arenas with all 625 gear score is uh, in you know without a doubt in my opinion, but. We'll see what happens. We'll obviously keep you guys up to date with all things New World. This is the first video back in quite a while, so hopefully I wasn't too fast. Hopefully I didn't stutter too much for you guys. But if you guys want to see more, definitely like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. I do plan on doing a little bit more New World content. Like I said, definitely PvP-oriented mostly, but I do want to give you tips and guides as well along the way. Thank you guys again for tuning in. I'll see you guys all in the next one.